Oriwa! It is I, Godzilla, legal citizen of Japan, back with another kicking game review. Yeah, we're still getting through all the Pokemon games, and today we'll be talking about Sun and Moon. I got mixed thoughts on this game, but overall it's pretty positive. So the game starts us off in a new region, the Alolan region, which sounds just like Aloha. Guess what? It's fucking Hawaii. Congratulations. And to Nintendo and Game Freak's credit, this game is very, very different from previous Pokemon games, and that made it extremely enjoyable to play. There weren't even Pokemon gyms. There were no Pokemon gyms. There were instead these, like, island challenges, and you had to fight these totem Pokemon, and it was a really cool idea. But there was one problem with it. The island challenges were all ridiculously fucking easy! They looked at their Pokemon games and were like, Our target audience is children, and we think our games are too hard. They, I feel like they started dimming down their games in XY, and they didn't really do it in Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, because those were kind of more for longer time fans, I think. But... This game is easy as fucking shit. This is the easiest Pokemon game I've ever played. It's... A joke, difficulty-wise. I hate to say it, it's a fucking joke, difficulty-wise. But don't get me wrong, because I absolutely fucking love everything else about this game. This is in my top five... No. Top three Pokemon games. This game rocks! The Alolan Pokemon are great, the Alolan forms of Kanto Pokemon are great, and even make scientific sense. There's... It just feels so new, and the NPCs are, like, way better than they always are. Lily is a perfect angel, and I want to see her grow, and we do see her grow, and she is perfect and awesome. Her Cosmog is cute and funny. How is fun? He can get on your nerves sometimes, yeah. He's got a big personality, but whatever. That, uh, that, there's that emo dude who comes around towards the end. He's a little more standard, but there's so much going on. And then fucking Lusamane. Don't even get me started on her, man. She was a psycho bitch and I loved it. She turned into an Ultra Beast. And you have to fight her in a different dimension surrounded by monsters. It's... Fucking awesome! And the Ultra Beasts are fucking swag. They're awesome Pokemon from other dimensions. And I love each and every one of them. Especially Buzz Wall. Or should I say Buzz Swole. He's buff as shit. Also, they did something I've been wanting them to do since fucking Red and Blue version. They get rid of HMs. Bye, Felicia. HMs are fucking finally gone. I hate HMs! They clog up your party, and you have to have them, even though you almost never use them in battle. Some of them are basically useless in battle. Rock Smash? Flash? Go fuck yourself. Like, some are kind of cool, like Waterfall and Fly, but fuck the... Like, Jesus Christ! But they got rid of them, and instead, they have Pokemon Uber. It's Uber, but your Uber drivers are Pokemon! And they can take you across rough terrain and shit. It's so fucking awesome. And the HM moves are just regular TMs that you can get rid of now. And replace them whenever you want. This game did so much good. So, 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 so much good. And I 100% love it. There's so much fun side stuff to do. The battle tree is really fun. You can battle red and or blue after you beat the game. Uh, I just love it. There's no National Pokedex because they switched it to the, um, they put the National Pokedex in the goddamn Pokemon Bank to force you to buy Pokemon Bank. And I did buy Pokemon Bank. Uh, and that was the first time I completed the National Pokedex, actually. I never bothered to do it before. The first time I bothered to do it was now that it's bigger than ever. But I enjoyed it. I love it. This is a fucking great game, and I do highly recommend it. I also think it's a great entry point into the game. Maybe not for adults, unless they're already big Nintendo people or real casual gamers or something. But uh, definitely for younger people, this is a great intro into the game, because... 
Jason! Whoa. Because, uh, I'm not gonna apologize for that. Because, uh, they fucking goddamn, they do shit. It's easy. It's really easy. Uh, and also, like, uh, once you've battled a Pokemon, you can see which of your moves are effective against them. You don't have to really memorize the types anymore. And when you're making tons of new Pokemon, and most of them are dual type these fucking days, and you keep adding new types like Fairy, maybe that's not such a bad idea all around. But it's really helpful for people who are just getting into the game. All in all, Pokemon Sun and Moon are fantastic. They give us great story, great lore. The first legendaries that can fucking evolve, which is awesome. I just love all of it. It's wonderful. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all later, bitches.